Welcome to NBA Now. I am your host, Harrison Graham, alongside Jimmy Crowther here on Chat Sports. And uh, Jimmy, you prepared your top 15 NBA draft big board for the 2020 draft. And let's go ahead and jump on in with your top guy here, Anthony Edwards. Listen, Anthony Edwards, in my opinion, is the clear-cut number one pick of this draft. A 6'5", 225 freshman coming out of Georgia. You talk about a shot maker, you talk about a scorer, a pure scorer. That is what Anthony Edwards is. His jump shot still leaves a little bit to be desired, but trust me, he's going to be just fine in the NBA. So you got Anthony Edwards as your top guy. LaMelo Ball, a player that everybody knows uh, uh, pretty well based on that last name low, went to Australia, played overseas, flashed a lot of potential, 6'7 body, good defender. Uh, you got him as your number two guy. I do, and I, I think he deserves to be there. He's definitely the best point guard in this draft at 6'7". Foot seven. You've got incredible size for a point guard. Luka Doncic type size. Now, he doesn't have the Luka Doncic body. He's a little bit skinnier and a little bit more wiry. But going over to Australia, it didn't work out so well for RJ Hampton. And we'll talk about him later in the show, I'm sure. But LaMelo Ball, it worked out perfectly. He plays against grown men. He goes overseas and he dominates those grown men in Australia. He put up 17 points per game and seven assists. Now, he didn't shoot the ball super well. He's got a bit of an ugly jump shot, much like his brother that needs to be deconstructed yeah. and built back up. But the dude is a playmaker, and I am a big fan of what he can do. And I think he can change a team's, really, trajectory going number two overall. He is, in my opinion, the second best player in this draft. Yeah, obviously the jump shot's going to be a work in progress, but vision-wise, I think he's the best passer in this year's class. Number three player on your big board, uh, Denny Advi. Yeah, I've seen kind of some Luka comparisons. I, uh, the first comp I saw about this kid when I was doing uh, uh, my draft research is Luka Doncic light. Now, he's yeah. not Luka, but he's got some of those characteristics. Not Luka, and I don't want to compare every international prospect <laughs> exactly. to Luka either because that is unfair to those prospects. He's six foot nine, more of a forward instead of a guard. You're not going to ask him to bring the ball up like Luka di does slash did coming straight into the NBA. But he's still 19 years old. He's six foot nine. A great scorer, a great playmaker from that forward position. Now his jump shot, still a work in progress. At yep. the end of his season over there in Israel, he started to prove himself. But think more, less Luca, more Danilo Gallinari. Okay. Point forward kind of guy there. Well, if you get Danilo there, that's not so bad. Next up here, your number four prospect as we go through your top 15 big board, Onyeka Okongwu out of USC, a 6'9 big man who played one year in college. Yeah, listen, Onyeka Okongwu, I've got him as my best big man in the draft. Yes, I have him above guys like James Wiseman. This guy, 6'9", 220 pounds. Now, he played the power forward, really more the center position at USC. So, he's a bit undersized for an NBA center. But, Harrison, think Bam Adebayo, Ooh. a center that you can run your offense through in the half court and a playmaking, versatile big man. That's what Kongwu was at USC. I believe that's what he will become in the NBA. Rounding out your top five here, a player I loved watching college basketball last season, Obi Toppin out of uh, Dayton. Uh, I can't remember. Did they hand out a player of the year award in college basketball with it getting cut and short? If they didn't, I think he would have won it. He was fantastic. He definitely would have been close to the top. He's my first guy that's not a freshman or an international prospect here as he was a redshirt sophomore coming into Dayton. Listen. The guy can score. Now he's playing that power forward position. He could kind of play center or maybe small or excuse me, small ball center or be a really big small forward, but he's best suited at that power forward position. Offensively, Amari Stoudemire. That's my NBA comp for him. Defensively, however, he's not a good defender. Also Amari Stoudemire? Uh, also <laughs> Jalil Okafor. Oh, I mean, not a good that's defender. That's not what you want. But an elite athlete and a great scorer on the offensive. So that's our top five. We're going to get six through 15 here. We'll pick up the pace as we focus on some lesser prospects here as we go through this big board. But we want to ask you guys this question. We'll make this the pen comment on today's video. Who should be the number one pick in the 2020 NBA draft? We just went through our top five. Let us know. Reply to the pen comment if you're watching on YouTube right now. Next up as we go through your big board, Killian Hayes, uh, an interesting player out of France. Yeah, listen. 18 years old, he's still a little bit raw, but he's a lefty, and I think that gives him an advantage in the NBA when you're a left-handed point guard that can play make with that left hand. However, the downside with that is he is only left-handed. He does not use his right hand very well. I think that's why he's probably not the best point guard in this draft, but he's pretty close to it. Defensively, leaves something to be desired. I'll give you another NBA comparison here. 
Goran Dragic could okay. make a lot of sense there for Killian Hayes. Another lefty and a guy who's fallen on down your big board a bit here, James Wiseman, only played a couple of games at Memphis before uh, ran into those NCAA violations. Uh, you got him as your number seven guy. Yeah, coming into college, I had James Wiseman as my number one prospect. But as we've seen in today's NBA, big men just aren't as useful. Now, he's an incredible athlete. He can get up and down the floor really, really well. But I still think Wiseman is a bit of a project in the NBA. He's not an incredible defender, but he is a good rim protector because of his athleticism. He likes to take jump shots, but he doesn't quite have the skill set to take and make the jump shots that he likes to take. If he goes if he goes ahead and really ups his game on the offensive end when it comes to extending his range, yeah, he'll probably project to be more of a top three kind of guy. Now, if you're a wise man, uh, you'll wear a face covering, and why not do it in style? Chatsports.com slash NBA mask. Rep your favorite team. By getting one of these, we got single packs all the way up to four packs. All 30 NBA teams, lots of different styles and variations. A little secret here, Jimmy. The more you buy, the better bang for your bucket is. These four packs, just $29.99. Hook your entire family up. We got three packs available as well. I mentioned all NBA teams. You can get different style masks. That's producer Dylan repping his face covering right there. <laughs> Chatsports.com slash NBA mask. Go to that link. It'll be in the comments. It'll be in the description. Just stay safe. Be a wise man. <laughs> Next up here on our NBA Draft Big Board, Cole Anthony, a guy who was banged up most of his freshman season. Yeah, he tore that meniscus in his right knee in 2019. Luckily, he got it repaired, and he did come back and was really effective for North Carolina. Now, North Carolina as a team was not their rough usual year. dominant self, but he's a great athlete, and he is a score-first point guard. Now, at six foot three, 190 pounds, you say, okay, this guy's your point guard you want to run on the show. However... He's not going to look to really improve his teammates' play. The guy that I compare him to right now is Jamal Murray because Jamal Murray's not really oh, running that offense in Denver, but he can score the ball and really bring the ball up, and he's a good athlete as well. Yeah, score first point guard. A guy that I think is a much better distributor is who you got next year, and that's Tyrese Halliburton out of Iowa State. Really skinny. This is my biggest red flag for <laughs> yeah. him. 6'5", buck 75, and that might be generous, but he really can play the point guard. Gosh, such a good – Playmaker. Now, he is a sophomore, so he's a year older than Cole Anthony, but he is a coach's dream. He just does everything well on the floor, and he does it without being flashy or trying to really score the ball too much, Tyrese Halliburton does as a sophomore at Iowa State. Listen, he put up 15 points per game and 5.9 rebounds, also 6.5 assists. In my opinion, and with his body and with his build and the way he plays that point guard position, think Shea Gilgis Alexander. I think that's a good comparison for him. Now, obviously, SGA is only in his second year right now uh, with the Oklahoma City Thunder. So maybe it's a little early for that comparison, but Tyrese Halliburton, he does all the little intangible things right, and he can score the ball. Yeah, I liked him a lot out of Iowa State. Your number 10 guy wrapping up the top 10 here, Isaac Okoro, wing out of Auburn. Versatility, you're hoping to get a 3 and D guy here. Yeah, listen, he's not a great three-point shooter right now. Honestly, he's not a good shooter at all, but he's a really, really good finisher. He's a good slasher to the rim. He can get to the paint and finish well, but what you draft him for is your defense on the wing. He's six foot six, 225 pounds out of Auburn. Just an incredible defender, and I think that's where he really projects to be is a guy that's going to come in and get you stops. Now, if he can continue to up his scoring and be able to shoot the ball, maybe he jumps into more of a top five, top range, but right now, he's not a good, good shooter at all. So he might be a player that, you know, is slipping between the cracks, not getting a lot of chatter around him. Who is the most slept-on prospect for, prospect for the 2020 NBA draft? Let us know what you guys think. Who's your number one sleeper guy? Listen, I'm going to go second-round guy here. I don't have him in my first round, even though I think okay. he will turn out to be a first-round talent. And you're going to like this pick, Harrison. Desmond Bain. I yes. love the way he plays. I think he's super smart. He can do everything you want him to do on the court. I just think teams are going to be like, ah, he's too old. We don't want to take him right now, and they're going to wait to take him in the second round, and somebody's going to get a great value there. Knockdown shooter, no doubt about it. So let's go 11 through 15 here. Devin Vassell, the first of two Florida State guys coming up. Uh, 6'7", just under 200 pounds. Has an NBA-ready body, if you will, uh, Jimmy, sophomore out of uh, Florida State. Devin Vassell is the best defender in this draft. I I'll say it confidently right now. Offensively, however, he is just a spot-up shooter. But his offensive game does project to improve well. Think Chris Middleton of the Milwaukee Bucks. I think that's where Vassell's game is going to trend, but maybe not quite as a good of a 
offensive player as Middleton is right now. I mentioned two Florida State guys. Patrick Williams here, 6'8", 225. Good playmaker for his size. Yeah, I like Patrick Williams. He's a freshman. Of course, we got back-to-back -back Florida State guys going here. Now, 6'8", 225, played that power forward position and a little bit of small ball center. I think offensively and in the NBA, with the way the NBA is trending right now, he could be a P.J. Tucker kind of okay. guy. But he does have some room to improve on the decision-making side. He is very turnover prone. He had almost twice the amount of turnovers as he did assists in his freshman year at Florida State. One of my favorite players in this year's draft, Tyrese Maxey. The, the inconsistency offensively was definitely there at Kentucky. Didn't quite live up to that height. But a guy who chases every loose ball is a really good defender. A guy that a coach likes on his team. I like this kid a lot. Absolutely. A high energy guy. As we've really seen many of these Kentucky guards come out to be really high energy. Improving as a shooter, not quite there yet. He has some decision-making issues as well. Only a three assists per game. You want more than that out yeah. of your guard. But a DFW native, so you know that's near and dear to my heart and Tyrese Maxey there. A couple more here. Now, a guy I know you're high on, a uh, real wild card in this class. In this class. That's Carol Lewis Jr., crazy athlete, crazy speed. I mean, he is. So, I, I think he's the fastest player in this draft right now. He's got great length and great a great wingspan. He can finish around the rim really, really well. The problem is sometimes because he's so fast, he gets a little out of control. Now, he can't really shoot off the dribble quite yet, but he's a good shot creator as he proved at Alabama. NBA comparison as uh, the local Dallas Maverick guy here, Devin Harris. Faster Devin Harris? Faster Devin Harris. Okay. I'm going to try to pronounce oh, this name. yes, let's hear it. I know you've been practicing. How about Alexi Pokusevsky? Okay, that was pretty darn good. Now, they call him Poku. That's a, that's just an easy nickname you got. You can go with there, P-O-K-U. Out of Serbia, he played for the Greek team. Listen, this is a guy that NBA executives and NBA front office people are trying to say, uh, we'll either A, keep him under wraps, or B, just let him fall to some team and they can take the risk on him. Because he's super skinny. I mean, so, so skinny. He's seven feet tall, just over 200 pounds. Ooh. But the guy can shoot the lights out of the gym. And he's a playmaker from that forward and center position. When you look at what he did with his per 36 numbers, so not his total stats, but per 36, had he played more over in Greece, uh -huh. 17 points per game, 12 rebounds, five assists at the center position, and three blocked Shots. This is a big man that eventually you can run your offense Mar through. Marc Gasol? Marc Gasol, a Lamar Odom okay. type of guy. I mean, I really like Pogazewski. He definitely has to improve that frame. And once he gets into an NBA locker room and an NBA training facility, it will be real, real easy for him to put on some true muscle. So we'll recap this in chunks of five real quick here uh, as we go through Jimmy's big board. Anthony Edwards, the guard out of Georgia, is uh, Jimmy's top guy. LaMelo Ball, a guy everybody knows. Number two, Denny Abdia out of Israel is our number three prospect. Onyeka Nkongwu out of USC. And then Obi Toppin, the forward out of Dayton, who I think was the best player in college basketball this past year. Six through ten, Killian Hayes, the guard out of France. James Wiseman, a player people have talked a lot about. The big out of Memphis, only played a couple of games in college. Cole Anthony, the point guard out of UNC, can really score the basketball. Tyrese Halliburton out of Iowa State. And then at number 10, Isaac Okoro, the wing out of Auburn. And then 11 through 15 here as we wrap up. Devin Vassell, the shooting guard out of Florida State. Patrick Williams, the big out of Florida State as well. Uh, the guard out of Kentucky, Tyrese Maxey. Kira Lewis Jr. out of Alabama. And then Alexi Poku, as they <laughs> call him. Go. The center out of Serbia. Jimmy, that is your top 15 big board. And this, this will certainly change, and we'll probably 100%. update this as we get closer and closer to the draft. But that's just another reason for you guys to subscribe because we're going to have all the draft coverage leading up to the NBA draft. So we'll leave you with this question. Who is your favorite 2020 draft prospect? Go ahead and let us know real quick. Give me your favorite prospect. God, it's such a hard question. I really love Sadiq Bey out of Villanova, but I got to say, Denny Avdia out of Israel, I can't wait to see what he does in his first year in the NBA. So let us know who's your favorite 2020 draft prospect as we get closer and closer to the NBA draft. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. We're going to have draft-related coverage coming up on Chat Sports all the time. So go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications. Real quick, I'll give my favorite yeah, do it. Uh, draft prospect. 
I'm a big fan of Tyrese Maxey, mm -hmm. as I mentioned earlier, so I would like to see my team team.